say something that will change my mind. Gotta give me something, cause I'm not blind. And I don't know how to enjoy it. Every time you tell me it's not there, I suppose that we won't stand a chance. We won't stand a chance. man look at me vlogging in the car wow hey guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing all well yeah it's been a couple of weeks since i've uploaded but things have just got on top of me i'm not gonna lie although i filmed a lot of stuff it kind of doesn't fit right into a video but i thought i'd start again <laughs> and i've got to go and collect some vinyl and i will explain all of this when i'm back Jesus weather. Right now we're going through a really weird weather phase in the UK. It's been absolutely gorgeous hot and now it's snowing. Can someone update the UK that it's spring and not actually winter anymore? That will be great. Yeah, I better get driving now because they shut at four o'clock and I don't know what time it is now, but there isn't much time. So yeah, I better get going. See you when I'm back. There we go, we've got two five metre rolls of black and white matte vinyl. I actually did a poll on my Instagram, a little illustrations if you aren't following, which I rarely do actually. It was really helpful seeing people's votes and seeing the preferences, but obviously at the end of the day, I'd rather use material that people actually like, not just what I think. I'll just show you for reference what the gloss and matte look like. But obviously it's just very standard stuff, you know? So that's just a really soft shine, Reflection. And this is obviously a lot harsher. At the end of the day, it depends what you're going to use it for. <laughs> Today, so far, I have basically been trying to write all my income, outcome, expenses and stuff in a different table. But it's taken me quite a while because it started back in 2019. I can't just copy and paste stuff, so it's quite difficult. That's what I've been doing today not exciting at all i've just had an email confirming tomorrow my new paper is going to be delivered so i'm really excited about that at the moment i'm in a process where i'm building all the products ready for etsy and i'm thinking this is what that video is going to be i like how charlie decided this halfway through the video but i'm just going to show you what products i've got so far and what else i'm planning on making i've had a new clock which i've put there for now but something that's cool about it is it's actually got a sensor so it dims it automatically right so my packaging is basically all ready i want to include a sticker that's free this one says good vibes also got some that say happy days i'm really pleased with how they've come out i think i'm going to use them for freebies but i do plan of obviously changing these in the future and so on and so forth and to top it all off i have made a little illustration stickers so in terms of sticker packs that i've got ready on my etsy i have two that are definitely completed first one that is complete is two a5 sticker sheets dogecoin i'm not sure how long these will be up for but this is the second one that's fully complete and i think it's my favorite one it's an organized sticker pack a5 sheets what i've had to do with all my stickers is create a double white border around because i want the white border for the sticker but i don't always want a white background for the sticker sheet it means there's not much bleed for the actual cricket to cut although it's a tedious job going around all the stickers again it is gonna pay off in the long run because it means I won't waste as many sheets because it gives it a bit more leeway anyway we have motivational quotes days of the week this one's actually 
be a new sheet that you haven't seen. So we got coffee cup, arrows, treats and remember to do list and some star stickers, heart stickers and exclamation marks. And these are the mat sheets so these are things you can write on. So we've got quote of the day, we've got some notepad stickers and we've got some speech bubbles and thought bubbles. So that's seven sheets all together so I think this is my favourite so far. For the you've got mail stickers which are my second favourite I think but I have finished going round the white line again to give it a bit more bleed like the other ones all I need to do is print and cut that one. The last sticker pack I am going to be launching for my first launch on Etsy is my little T-Rex and friends sticker pack. I feel like these are good ones to demonstrate what I'm on about. So you see how thick the white line is around at the border. I'm trying to cut that in half and get the Cricut to cut in between. Obviously to do that I need to re-edit the border that's already there and do another border. But not only do I want to do that, I also want to create another sheet for it. Yeah, I'm going to be releasing four sticker packs to start with. Obviously there'll be way more products down the line, but this is just for my first Etsy launch. And then we're going to come full circle and tell you what this vinyl is going to be for. The plan is going to be to create some like mirror decals with quotes. Obviously with vinyl stickers they've got multiple uses so it doesn't have to just be a mirror vinyl sticker. It could also be for something on your window or on a phone case things like that. I need to design a little card to go in the package to just Put some instructions to be like peel this side not this side i think i'm only going to do one design for this launch just to see like test the waters see what people think of it no no i got one update i got some more cricket mats so this is the light grip one that came with my Cricut. I did actually scrub this with, you know, how you should clean a Cricut mat. Still usable, don't get me wrong, but it is losing a bit of its grip. What I went for is a light grip one on its own and a variety pack. Anyway, it means now I'm actually covered for a while. I can actually stop babbling now. <laughs> cutting out my first piece of vinyl. I think it came out really well and I'm so pleased that I went for the matte instead of the gloss. Thank you for your input if you did vote on that poll because it's a very, very good choice. I felt like this V wasn't quite right so I readjusted everything. I'm actually going to cut some of those after lunch. I'm currently designing a footprint for the dinosaur page which I spoke about yesterday. I'm trying to finish off the final page of the dinosaur sticker pack and that means all my sticker packs are finalised. All I have to do is print and cut them. And the rest of this morning I have been finalising some of my prints because my paper has arrived. It is lunchtime and I should be going to get food but I'm too excited to see what this paper is actually like. So much bubble wrap. I wonder if I can pick this up on camera. <laughs> There is a texture to it, which I doubt will pick up on camera, but I'm super happy about that. It's just, I've got to get printing and put it to the test and see if it actually turns out right. Um, I'm going to cut some of them down into A5 as well. But yeah, I'm going to get finalising all my prints that I think are ready to put up on my Etsy. Okay, so I have printed off four prints that I'm happy with to put on my Etsy shop. So this is the first design. You've got A4 borderless and A5 non-borderless. So stupid old me didn't realise my printer didn't do borderless A5, but I feel like it doesn't really matter that much. Print number two, which I I think might be my personal favourite is make today count. It's a really nice message and I absolutely love the colours on this print. And then number four is this nice like neutral type print. 
And then this print, I think I'm going to keep as A4 borderless only, just because it's a simple kind of sketchy hand drawing. Now, once I've actually changed the good vibes only cut of it, like with the V that I mentioned earlier, I'm going to try it and print some more off and try it in white as well. I better get cracking on with this work because it'll take longer than I think. What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love? What is love? I don't know. No one ever showed me I've been on my own for too long. But if you hold me now, let me into your heart. Maybe I can start to love again and tend to my scars. Can you show me? think I'm finished. What a day. But before I show you, I've just printed off some tiny stickers. Look how satisfying that is. A little sticker on the bottom, like so, and I just feel like it completes it. If anybody buys a print, they can look on the back and see where they got it from. The other thing I was going to tell you is the vinyl sticker things. I think I'm going to have to use A6 wallets and just fold it down. And in the back, which you will have seen me make last night, I think, it's just a little instruction card, which I'm actually really happy that the height and everything, it just fits it so precisely. It's just so satisfying. All it is is a little base basic instruction card and on the back as well with my logo just to try and make the process as easy as possible if you've never applied one before without further ado i'm going to show you my desk and show you each project project product um, and just see them all together because it's so satisfying for me so i've tidied it up a little bit for you hopefully it looks satisfying because it's satisfying to me i think it looks so good we've got the prints along the top a5 a4 and all those designs our vinyl stickers decal things and then along the bottom we've got this is probably my favorite sticker pack because it's just so useful quotes uh, pointers days of the week and even ones you can write on which i also think is quite good and my memory card ran out of memory and that's probably the first time that's happened on this camera so i think that shows how much i've actually filmed <laughs> so yeah let's get back to it where was i this one's just a bit of a gimmicky thing not really expecting too much from that i still like how they've come out nonetheless t-rex and friends i don't know which way this is gonna go if anybody's gonna want them or not but when i posted the t-rex on my instagram 
Everybody was just like DMing me and they're like, oh my god, is this a sticker? Can I buy it? I really want it. It is going to be a sticker now. This one, although it seems a bit random, I just think because of the times that we're in, like just a little sticker on a parcel and an envelope, which I've been doing for the ones I'm sending out, just makes it a little bit cuter and nicer and puts a smile on your face, especially the Happy Mail one. They've all come out so crisp and so nice. I think I know many people that can vouch for how long I've spent on designing these and finding the right materials. I've probably wasted so much money, but at the end of the day, I can't say that I've wasted it because that's the only way I really find out what's the best thing. I plan to, in the next video, actually take the product photos, design how I want the page to look, create the listings and all that. Hopefully by the end of the next video, I can show you the launch of it going out and seeing if there's any response. I could well be doing this and nobody wants to buy a thing. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what what product is your favourite? Which one do you like the most? Because I'm really interested. So if you want to follow my Instagram and actually follow the launch live and all the updates and stuff, my Instagram is Little Illustrations UK. I will leave all the links in the description. I don't know if I mentioned earlier about my photography as well. All those details are in the description. But if you did make it this far, please hit the thumbs up to let me know that you did make it this far. And yeah, subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell. Have a good day. Have have a good week and I will see you next time. Bye! Uh, uh.